first century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate We are the children of the sun I can see you when I look into your eyes We are the same, and we are light, and we are one Hear now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along We are awakening as one we can make a difference Yeah, we can be the change it takes To make the world a lot more fun Well, if you're feeling kind of down And you need some inspiration To remember who you are Oh, now, child, please don't frown You can choose a new vibration And these words can take you far First century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Here, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman And we are live on Twitch I'm here today with Alexander Russell How are you, Alexander? I'm doing fine Alexander, let's jump into It's Spring Equinox today Yeah, happy Equinox, everyone yeah, happy spring, happy portal. This is one of those times when so much energy is open to flow in. Um, we, we call it a portal because we can send out thoughts that will be more empowered. We can call in events and people in our lives and they will happen more readily. Um, how do you see spring equinox? Well, this particular one is maybe the most powerful in, in at least modern human history, as uh, people like um, spiritual leaders and uh, like Sandra Walter has been talking about. And it just um, just so happens that today we had a geomagnetic storm yes. from a, a coronal uh, wind stream from the sun yeah. that hit the planet this morning and went into a, a level three uh, geomagnetic storm, which and these electromagnetic storms from plasma from the sun uh, increase radically increase the energy. They cause satellites to go down. They cause glitches with the internet. They cause communication yes. problems, which you actually experienced today recently. Yes. So, so these things are um, uh, the these. This is I mean, on the day of the equinox of all time. There's yes. also global. A global protest going on all over the world. Yes. London, I saw a video uh, for freedom. So all this over the world. Very, very high energy day. Uh, Tomorrow is World Freedom Day. And so there's protests like in every country of the world. Right. And yeah. And there's also there's also, you know, there. I don't, you know, calling the protests, it is true, uh, because they are kind of protesting the, the restrictions of freedom that we've been, and our human rights being taken away. But also on the positive side, it's it's like, you know, let's, it's a gathering together of people that are working towards greater freedom for all of humanity. Absolutely. So it's it's like, they're, they're not just protest, which is a, right. you know, has a negative connotation, but it's also a, 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 uh, a celebration and a, um, how should I say, an enthusiasm for creating more freedom. Yes, and pra they're practical gatherings. Deb does say crazy energy today, and Abad785 says, thanks for the advice. <laughs> You're welcome. What I, what I will say is one of the really cool realizations is that we really are already free. And yes. all we need to do is step into that. And so these kind of gatherings where people are recognizing our true our true freedom that already exists, the choices that we want to make as a culture, as groups of people that don't conform to oppressive old programs. This is what these events are about that are going on right now and Freedom Day tomorrow. It's to help us. I say that we have been running a lot of programs from the time that 
especially the last 50, 60 years, there have been, we can get into this in a minute, but there have been, um, we'll t as we talk about betrayal of a legend, um, there have been programs running on the TV in Hollywood to keep us in advertising, get us thinking a certain way, getting us thinking that we're limited, that we're not that we're, we're not powerful to make our lives any way that we want to. So mm -hmm. um, having this freedom energy in this portal is helping all over the planet for us to wake up to knowing that we can create change and that we are the bringers of the change. We're the change makers. And it's up to us. It really is. You know, we can't, we can't rely on, on some quote leader or, you know, some right. other person or small group of people say, yeah, yeah, you go out and you, you take, you know, you change the government and you, you know, do your military thing. And, it, you know, we individually, each person must, which must contribute in order to have, it, it's, it's a self-created freedom and, or, or acknowledgement and, and empowerment of our natural freedom that we all actually we do possess that we do have as natural persons as a as a legal fiction as a straw man we have all these limitations and all that but it's it's and and what what we've been convinced is that we are that we are the legal fiction we are the right. straw man that name we got born with in all capital letters right and this is another you know another offshoot. reason we may want to leave that name behind Exactly, exactly. It's another reason why we may, because everything tied to that name uh, uh, in all caps on our birthday, that's a corporation, that's a corporate name. So everything tied to that corporation, if we do change that legally, then we actually create a completely new fictional character, you know, theoretically, at least, that, that is still not our you know, our actual real selves, but, but it is... Um, uh, a new, how should I say, a clean slate, a new lease on life in a way. So, but, but the most important thing is that it resonates with a person's um, higher energies and expressions and, or, or at least what they would like to resonate with. Yes. So, um, that's, that's the most important, but we have to do it ourselves. You know, uh, everybody has to, everybody is a creator being. You create your own reality through your thoughts, through your emotions, and through what and what you what you dwell on, what you what you hold in your mind, in your you know your lower mind, your ego mind, and also your your you know in your meditation, what you in your creative mind, uh, most it, through most of the time, and what you energize, your energized thoughts are what manifest. So if you're dwelling on your fears, those will manifest. If you're dwelling on a on a higher level of being and freedom then you will, things will happen in your life, the synchronicities that will bring you to the information you need, et cetera, et cetera, in order to guide you into the, the, the actual tasks that you need to do, that you need to physically uh, do, whether it be in the digital realm or whether it be in the physical realm, in order to manifest your personal freedom and your personal creativity that's how it works. That's how the universe right. works. You know, they're all matrix worlds. They all change every millisecond. And, but we are the motive. We are the local motives behind that change, whether we recognize it or not. Right. That's the key. So vast majority of people are, we're, like you were saying earlier, have been convinced that we have no influence on anything out there. Remember, everything out there is actually in here. So it's a projection of what we are manifesting through our energized thoughts and our creative thoughts. So, or fearful thoughts as well. So, exactly. you know, the key is the key is taming your your inner gremlin, is taming the ego, is 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 controlling your thoughts, not in a negative way, but in 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 deciding and taking back your self empowerment, your ability to decide what you think and what you energize and yes. what you feel as well. Yes. You, yes. you emotionalize those thoughts. Right. So what you said earlier about it's not up to them out there, it's up to us. And what you just explained is what is so important. Not even it's up to us, it's up to me. Like my world, my resonance in this world, as you just explained, 
my thoughts, my emotions, both conscious and unconscious. And in my books, mm. the 21st Century Superhuman books, we talk about this as our conscious thoughts are the tip of the iceberg. Harvard studies say 5%. And that other 95% of the iceberg that's underwater is our unconscious thoughts. And those are still resonating in the field. So when we're carrying around old fears, I'm afraid of dogs. I'm afraid I won't have enough. I'm afraid I'm going to get robbed. You know, these kind of ancient fears that we carry around for generations of human civilization, those need to be cleared out of our unconscious so that, you know, my happy thoughts, which are what we're taught, um, you know, to set goals or to say, you know, I choose to create a million dollars in my bank account. If that's one, one of our conscious 5% thoughts and down in the other 95% we have, but I don't have enough or my grandfather was a poor farmer, um, those resonances are going to kind of cancel each other out. So we need to learn to clear ourselves. And that's, you work with coaching. Um, I've worked with this in my books and a lot of workshops and classes teaching it. Um, but as we begin clearing those old resonances out of ourselves, anger, resentment, fear, grief, apathy, sadness about all the wars and people that have been killed and people being hungry. Instead, in order for us to put out a vibrational resonance, like the frog kicking its leg in the pond and sending ripples out, it's really important that we clear inside ourselves and we can actually come to a place Breathing, smiling, and loving helps us clear our neurobiology and helps us let go of these bubbles when they come up. And as we let them go and we can stand in knowing ourselves as a creator, that we're calling in the highest possibility into our lives. We see good things happening to us. This is how we literally change the world. I change yeah. the world. I, 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 I remember in your book, you talk about defragging the hard drive and yeah. you use those uh, wonderful computer, those uh, computer uh, metaphors, which are really, really, that everybody can relate to. Yes. Yeah. Can you explain that to, to, to the viewers about um, defragging the hard drive and, and rebooting and all that? Absolutely. Again, it's that if we think we're carrying around a whole bunch of old data, I like to call it, and even in our DNA from our generations, what did our grandparents think? What did our parents think? What, what, what were our family thought patterns like? And those are kind of jangling around inside of us. So basically, literally, when we teach ourselves to breathe, that's why doing breath work or meditation on a regular basis is so important. Because we literally begin disentangling those neural connections. And as thoughts bubble up that are not of the highest order, and we replace them with choosing to move into love and canceling, releasing, and letting go those old ideas, we literally are defragging our computer. We are a biocomputer. We're a biocomputer running in an electromagnetic system. And without getting too deeply into what the matrix is. I mean, really the movie, the matrix is, is pretty, pretty true in my perspective that we're really oh, yeah. in a system of programming. And it's really important that we clear that old data and we begin activating new programs in ourselves. Yeah. Right. And then we can reprogram our subconscious mind. So, but the first step, the first step that I know you talk about and that I've talked about for years is that, that, you know, a lot of people talk about doing the inner work, right? And right. what is it? But, but very few people really define what that is. And what that is, is that is that's going into your own psyche, into your own subconscious. Yes. Finding those sponsoring thoughts, those subconscious thoughts that what the grandparents taught, what the parents taught, what the, what the school drilled into your head you know, back when you were, you know, in your first, second, third grade and, and the conformity and the obedience and, and the automatic, uh, you know, voluntary consent to whatever the authorities said, all of this programming 
that that was put into our subconscious mind when we were very very young from birth okay we we need to go and the traumas that were that we experienced getting beat up by the bully or being the bully and feeling so alone and so so scared and so paranoid that you had to beat up other people in order to feel better about yourself you know both it works both ways you know and of course you know what uh you know is going on with you know the the abuse of children you know and has always gone on all those traumas that we suffered we got to find out the first step is to go down one of the person's first step is to go into themselves and to find out dig dig into the roots of where all these issues and triggers and and hot spots are coming from in our in your own subconscious and because you can't you can't you can't root them out unless you discover that they exist most people don't even know where they're there these triggers where they're coming from why do i why do i see a dog and i just freeze up and freak out you know right. and or i hear a certain sound or word from another person my first wife there was a word that i would use sometimes it was just a normal word i'm not going to go into what it was but she said please don't use that word because it triggers me and i'm like well, why? I and mean, it's just a normal word. It's everybody, we, every day we, you know, people say this and she goes, just, it triggers me. And I know it's a problem I have, but, and it, because she was very wise in how all of this worked, but she just said, just do me a favor and try to avoid it because I'm still working on clearing that from my subconscious. And so, but, the, but each person must do that themselves. I mean, they can hire someone like me or you as a life coach, as a spiritual guide and mentor to, to, to give techniques and to, to talk them through these, these techniques and such. But each individual has to do it themselves. And that's part of the, the self-empowerment and self-evolution path. But number one is finding out, discovering within your own subconscious where you know where the programming the old programming and then rooting it out and reprogramming reprogramming your mind like you both of us come from psychology of success and this is big in that area reprogram your 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 subconscious mind and your conscious mind for success for joy for for uh higher spiritual resonance it's at raising your consciousness but you can't raise the consciousness until you know what's the anchors that are holding it down. So right. cut those anchors, reprogram, and then reboot the hard drive. And um, sometimes uh, a few hundred times you got to reboot the hard drives. I mean, right. it's, it's a, and then it's a stair step process. You go up, you go up, you reach a plateau, and then there's always higher and higher to go. And uh, it's grueling, it's gut wrenching, but you know what? It eventually leads to. To your own personal freedom. It does. Um, And in times like this, when we're in a portal like this, for instance, spring equinox, and we're having these um, solar waves coming in, we are literally being pushed to clear this old data out of ourselves because we are an electromagnetic vehicle. So these waves are coming through and they're pushing us. Things will bubble, things will bubble up to the surface. Um, old energy patterns and really learning to look at those and go, hmm, breathe, smile, go, oh, this isn't really how I want to operate anymore. I cancel, release, and let this go. That's literally the ancient Aramaic, which is a, a language of quantum physics. And it's the language that Yeshua used, the language that Buddha used, and Zoroaster. And these words in the ancient Aramaic, cancel, release, and let go tell us to let go of this data. It's really a cleaning out of data that we're carrying inside ourselves. And so that we can implement that new program. And so as these waves, these solar waves are coming through right now, um, and a lot of people are communicating about it online. Um, One of my friends is Ben Schumann Ellis, and he reports on the Schumann resonance every day. And he's got um, audios that he plays to help elevate a person in their clearing process. Um, what's the site that you looked up the um, today's electromagnetic stuff on? Uh, spaceweathernews.com. 
spaceweathernews.com. It's um, uh, Ben Davidson, Ben Davidson. And he's been, he does a daily report uh, that he releases at like five, six in the morning and, you know, in the U.S. time. And um, it's really, really excellent. It's completely science-based, completely. But it's the new science. It's the more awake and aware science. He, he works with uh, top physicists, astrophysicists all over the world. And he's published scientific papers himself. He's co-written and co-published scientific papers on uh, you know, solar forcing of Earth weather and, and the weather of all the planets that's been changing, not just Earth. As a matter of fact, Earth, Earth's weather has changed the least uh, among all the planets of the solar system. So uh, it is, it's a solar system wide phenomenon, this, these uh, climate changes and, and uh, weather changes. So it has nothing to do, uh, almost zero to, to percentages due to, you know, human activity. So, and, and this is scientifically proven now beyond a shadow of a doubt. So, but it's an excellent uh, report and it's given in uh, regular layman's terms. And, uh, you know, he's a father now. Uh, and uh, he's, so he's very concerned about the future of the planet for his wow. children. So like I am, I have two children, two daughters myself, two young daughters. So it's, um, it's very real. It's, uh, he's got the top information. He publishes in, in the Daily Report, the newest uh, scientific papers on Earth weather, on space weather, on geomagnetic storms, on galaxies, on the new discoveries in space and, and neutron stars and all these really fascinating things that I liked always since I was a kid. You know, I have a degree in biology, so I took physics and I took chemistry and, and um, I, I've always been fascinated by the stars and, and I watched, grew up watching Star Trek, right? So I, I'm, I'm into that kind of stuff a little bit. But that's a great site, but also regarding the uh, Schumann resonance and the uh, geomagnetic storms, uh, there's uh, somebody who I uh, know, Alexis Bach, and she has, um, I think it's called Ascension Diaries, and right. she has a Facebook page, and she's really, really good at, at uh, explaining um, in a very friendly uh, way. She's a you know younger star seed. She's in her mid twenties now, I think. Right. And about uh, very, and she um, she knew Jordan Sather for a long time, and uh, so uh, she gives a really good uh, shows and explanations about that That's as well, great. and how they affect our our um, our inner work. How they affect because the, these these electromagnetic changes affect our memories. By the way, uh, Ben Davidson mentions how they affect. Uh, like a full moon fever, how they affect our emotional health, how they affect a heart. They cause, sometimes it's the, if, the, if the storm is extreme, they'll cause heart palpitations and, and different things like that. So there are documented medical effects, uh, not just emotional, but actually physical effects. So that I know you and I have both felt yes. very strongly. I'm, I'm very... Yeah empathetic I'm a, I'm a you know a super empath like you are and and I've I really feel these geomagnetic storms <clears throat> a little bit less now that I am you know more further into uh, the higher consciousness so the the physical effects don't don't really tr uh, affect me physically <laughs> so much as they did before because I'm my body is uh, you know basically at a different frequency so but that's another story but um uh, you know, once you do, you know, reboot your, you know, reprogram yourself and reboot the hard drive and move into the, the bliss states, you know, samadhi, nirvana bliss, then you actually, you raise your body and mind and everything about you, your being above the fray, so to speak. So you're no longer affected directly, at least by the, the 3D chaos and insanity and or even the 4d chaos and insanity which you know the uh the lower astral and all that right. so the war and the conflict and the strife and 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 all the emotional debates it just you just it doesn't you, you're above that frequency so uh it um you know you, you you're an observer you're right. you're a, like a deepak chakra wrote you become the and the hindus talk about you become the the 
the passionate, uh, the compassionate observer. Absolutely. And Plants by Fred says, additionally, you stop getting sick and stuff moves on. Yes. I haven't been sick in over eight years. I haven't had a single mm -hmm. sickness in Same. over eight years. Same. It's like super, yeah. being a superhuman. This is what I call yeah, being I, a superhuman. Why do we yeah, call this? Shows right. and books. Exactly. Yeah. A 21st moving, century superhuman, right? Yeah. We're moving into these 21st century superhuman abilities by aligning with our higher vibration, clearing ourselves. You were going to mention Sandra Walter and um, yes. some of her uh, posts on, is it on the space weather? Or? She's, she's, as far as I'm concerned, at least in the English language, uh, yes, yeah, SandraWalter.com, S A N D R A. W A L T E R dot com. She uh, she has a newsletter, and uh, she does. Uh, she started, I think it's five years ago now. Uh, global meditations every Sunday at three different times, yeah. and I've all, I've participated from the beginning. Um, I, I I've spoken with her personally uh, back about five six years ago before actually she started the meditations, because uh, Bill Ballard and and her and uh, were part of the same little group, Malene LaFont, um, which is no, and she's no longer active uh, in the global spiritual community, but she was a channel and, and uh, put out a newsletter as well back then. And, and so, um, but she puts out the, according to, you know, and from my perspective, because I relate to it very, uh, every single, almost every single thing that I ever see her put out there, I, grok i resonate with because i'm having this i'm getting the same downloads i'm getting the same information from my higher sources not from other humans but from you know, the higher sources and so um it's excellent and it's very very uh compassionate gentle guidance and and also intel it's spiritual intel you know it's like uh we're, we're kind of like um spiritual uh you know intelligence agents right uh, we get we get information from very obscure sources that the vast majority of people have no access to so and then we analyze them i'm an analyst like uh, martin Geddes, and 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 so you know we had to take the data and we analyze it from the spiritual thing and we match it up with data from different sources put it and we synthesize it into a big picture that we then utilize in a pragmatic way to improve our lives and, and to, to uh, present to other people so they can improve their lives as too, uh, it, like advice and recommendations and counseling and stuff such. So, uh, so Sandra is one of the, is basically the, the best that in, in that, the higher area, uh, as far as explaining in, in a, um, non more of a general way what's really going on and then there are others like Lori Ladd and Phil Good who are doing uh YouTube videos almost uh, like every two or three days about every every time there's new energies and surge um those two are just excellent and uh right. you know Phil Good and G-O-O-D and also Lori Ladd L-A-L-L-A-D-D L-A-D-D Lori Ladd L-O-R-I so uh, those two are putting out uh, and again those two are the same for me as Sandra but in a different way because they're much more especially Phil so pragmatic because he talks about relationships he talks about friendships he talks about family relationships he talks, he, he really brings it down to earth. I mean, he lives in LA for God's sake. So he's in the heart of darkness, so to speak. And, and he has to deal with people um, in, in, you know, around him that are just completely 3D. They're complete matrix thrones and every single day. And uh, he does an excellent job in explaining. I mean, he, he, he actually brings up anecdotes from his own personal life. Like I was out with a friend the other day and we had this conversation and we talked about this and, and that. And he said, this is how I handled it when, when this issue came up and, and I didn't want to have an argument and da, 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 da. I mean, really specific. And, and Lori, uh, she explains how to handle things internally better. She, she's really good at how, how 
uh, to explain with these energies, with the geomagnetic storms and with the, 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 e with the equinox and the solstices, what's going on energetically and then how to handle it within yourself. Right. I mean, they both do both things, but, um, and together you you get great, great advice and it's free, you know, it's free on, on YouTube. So a uh, great, great practical tools for navigating these radical intense change times. I mean, we're in a historical moment right now. Absolutely. The evolution Absolutely. of the entire species. We're moving into a whole new level, a whole new culture, a whole new way of being in the material realm. So this is this is historical in the sense of like a hundred thousand years. I mean, this is this is really, really Absolutely. pivotal. This is so, what my book one is about. We call it the shift of the ages. The ancients called it the shift of the ages. We're moving from one age into the next. And, 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 and when you're building, just real quick to, to, to move um, another metaphor for everybody, when you're building a new world, when you're building, when you're laying tile, when you're building a new room, an addition on your house, see, I, I do all this myself. When you're, when you're fixing the plumbing, the electrical system, it's it's literally at least 10 times easier when you have the proper tools Absolutely. if you if you have if you have crappy tools or no tools at all it is uh, almost impossible to to get things done and even if they're done they're done they're not done well so the for for people that are really starting out on this journey of personal evolution and awakening and all that it's really important really critical really pivotal and makes all the difference in the world if you can acquire the best tools available to help you get through these little things like, you know, like how to, you know, uh, like stopping the mind chatter, which yes. I wrote an article on, you know, simple tools that will able you to stop that monkey mind, you know, that chatter in your head, blah, 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 right. blah, 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 blah. And, and it's, it makes a huge difference. It'll shorten the time frame that it takes for you to achieve the next level and the next level and the next level. And just, it, it's like, it lubricates the whole process and accelerates it. So it's so much easier and you lose fewer friends. Okay. And, and you, and family and, and you learn how to, uh, to not get dragged into, you know, lower vibrational problems and discussions internally and also with other people, you know, you kind of learn how to sidestep that which is really critical now that so many people are going, uh, they're losing it. They're becoming like in the E2 101 book, they're becoming crispy critters. They're, yes. they're, they're refusing to change and they're like, no, no, I don't want to change. And I don't want the world to change. I, you know, they're clinging desperately and they don't want, you know, and they think they, they're, they're better than everyone else. And they, they don't want this. And so they're, they're frying they're, the, the, the energy is so strong that it's like short circuiting. They're short circuiting and, and they're they're losing their minds, they're losing their marbles, and freaking out. So well, and so. I think that's part of that old um, the old programs. I, I call it cognitive dissonance, and oh, as yeah. things become they they start feeling unstable to us because the old things that we believed in don't make sense anymore. And and I love the the Native American saying that says, you know, this, this will be a time of great change and the river will be moving very fast and don't hold on to the shore, look in the water and see who's in there with you flowing with the change. But those who hold on to the shore, it's more difficult for, and that's an old, um, it's almost why they say there'll be a separation of earths, you know, that there will be a higher dimensional earth. There's many ways the story is told and I'm not going to say, I know exactly how it will happen, but well, that's happening yeah. now. We're, yes, we're we, looking at a bifurcation of humanity and timelines. We, yeah. we so. have a, we have a, um, yeah, we have almost a separation of worlds. People who are able to move into their own higher dimensional selves to start letting go of the old things that they've held onto for so long. And then those that are just holding on tight to the way that's familiar. It's not to say either one is right or wrong, good or bad. They're both right. Parts right. of a soul journey. They're parts of a of a growth and an evolutionary process. Right. Okay. Every every soul they came here for one reason. Some some souls came to experience the, this this pivotal historical moment 
as, uh, but, but not go along with it into a higher realms, but, but they're accumulating experience. And some like us, we're part of it and we're actually helping to facilitate it. So, and, and they're all valid. There's no right or wrong, like you said, it's, okay. it's a choice. It's a choice, okay. so, and, and that's a, a free will choice that should be respected. That's why I have stopped, you know, uh, lecturing, haranguing, and, and trying to force people to look at information that they just don't want to look at. So I said, okay, that's okay. I see you've made your choice, not a problem. You know, if someday you would like to look at this information about cognitive dissonance, about conspiracies and, and, and JFK assassination, for example, and, and uh, these different aspects and the, the straw man system, the Federal Reserve system, you know, banking cartel and all of these different things, then you know where to find me. But, but if you, it's, I can, it's okay if you don't right now, I'm, I'll just leave you alone. And you can go off on the other path, right? Oh. And, and just, but I, you can't, but just don't try to drag me down that path with you, right. okay? And if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are. And these words can take you far I am a 21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time